Good day guys, Bing here. Today uh, let's model a furniture. Okay, so let's start. Uh, first, I'm going to create a, a family. So I'm going to use this uh, furniture template. Okay, so let's have a look at this uh, furniture. So um, it looks like quite complicated, so it's a twisted chair. But actually, uh, it's it's very easy to model this shape. So uh, we are going to use a blend. Okay, so this will be uh, the base will be uh, you can do it as a sweep or extrusion. The top will be extrusion, or and then the sweep. And all these, uh, the legs will be a uh, blend. So let's do it. So first, create some reference plans, RP, and the dimension DI, DI dimension equal, equal, and uh, then so add another two dimensions. So these two will be the width. Okay, so it looks like the same, that's the same with so top and bottom. So uh, these two, select these two dimension and create, a, let's call it W instance, okay. So I'm going to change it roughly to uh, maybe 450, apply, okay. So now go to the front, front view and add a, another uh, reference plan. So this will be the height, let's call it H instance. And uh, let me have a look. Uh, this, this one looks like uh, quite high. Um, maybe it's a high, uh, it's, it's a, uh, it's a bar chair. So um, I'm not sure how uh, tall it need to be, but I'll just leave it for now. Maybe I'll make it, um, um, I don't know, 600, maybe. <laughs> okay, so now let's go back to floor plan. So we need to, we need more reference plans. So add four more. So these will define the the legs. Okay, so it looks like they're quite thin. So maybe, um, let me, maybe 30. Okay, so let's, let's make it 30. So dimension, one, two, three and four select mock them one two three four and create so i'm going to call it um what i call it uh, leg leg width okay so in uh, maybe type and okay so i'm going to change them to 30 and okay so now uh the next next step is uh, go to front view. So we're going to add a, a height. So height of this and this. So maybe the thickness. Okay, so the thickness of this. So add another reference plan. So I'm going to use the same uh, same dimension of these legs. So I'm just going to select these two dimension and link them to this. So now go back to floor plan so we can create so the base so I'll just I'll, I'll use extrusion for this because it's very uh, simple so draw I'll create extrusion and use the rectangular shape so and then lock them onto the reference plan and once again another one and then lock um, and now go to from view finish this extrusion so I'm going to just drag this back to a reference plan and lock and drag this and lock. So now this is the base. So if we have a look in 3D view, change the scale. So this is base. Okay, so go back again. So we're going to create another one. So this one, actually I'm going to control C and oh maybe just go to front view. So I already control C and then paste we can just control V, okay, so all along to the same place. And then I'm just going to drag this up, lock, drag this here, and lock. And also I'm going to 
go to the floor plan and edit extrusion. So what I want to do is I'll just lock all these uh, uh, sketch lines onto the reference plans. Okay, so and um, I think that's that's all. I think. You can use VV if you go VV and check this automatic automatic sketch dimensions. You will see if there's no temporary uh, blue color dimension, uh, which means it's all constrained, all good. So now finish it. So now let's have a look in 3D view. So top the base, and then we just need to create the the legs, the twisted legs. So we can do. We can just create. Let me just uh, hh uh, these. Okay, so top and the base, and then we can create the use blend. Okay, so blend. So first, I'm going to create a base. The base. So um, I'm going to set. So uh, actually, it's it's okay. See, the the current uh, work plan is a reference level, which is good. So I'm going to use the rectangle draw one here and lock lock and lock lock um, uh, let me think okay so now this is one of the leg um, and then we need to go click on the edit top so for the top I'm going to draw this uh, here so, so the bottom is here and then this one at the top will be here and the lock lock and finish it. So go to front view. So I just need to drag this up to. So actually, you can just uh, lock onto here. And this one, we, we can lift this up and lock onto this reference plane. So if we go to 3D view, that's that's it. So you you can also use join. So this will uh, see will will remove the the line. Okay. So that's one of them. So now go back to floor plan. And once again, I'm going to uh, try to oh, try to oh, what's going on here? Uh, anyway, let's ignore it. So I'm going to use this one. So Control C, and I'm going to align to the same place and edit base. So I'm going to delete this and and oh. Uh, Draw another one here. So okay. So and then click on the edit top. I'll delete this. Draw the uh, the, the square shape here. So if I finish it, still I need to go to front front view because we need to constrain this because uh, every time time you copy and paste the new the new geometry the new uh, shape will not. Uh, constraint to anything, so you just need to both uh, constraint both the the sketch, the sketch top and the base, and also the the level, the height. Okay, so go back to floor plan. So once again, so I'm going to uh, paste along to same place again, and then edit base. So this time I'm going to delete this one and create base here lock and edit top and I'll delete this and create the sketch here so lock them and I go to front view finish this drag this up, down and then up lock up and down lock so once again go to floor plan paste uh, align to current view edit base delete this create one here and then lock and click on edit top delete this one and this one need to go here 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 oh sorry here so now lock 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 go to front view finish this drag this up down up down to the reference plan Okay, so now it's all constrained, so we can go to 3D view, so, and maybe join them, join them, 
um, join them and that's it so this is and also uh, we probably need the add add uh, a panel here so let's go to floor plan so just create an, uh, another extrusion so and then create a shape like this and lock them so go to front view I'll finish this I'll drag this up to this reference plan and this one I'll just uh, lock it onto this reference plan so that's it and then we can select this so because they are all joined you, you just need to select one of them and just give it a material uh, parameter so let's call it uh, maybe frame okay type and okay and you will see because they are all joined if you select this one this one's all also linked to that material okay? and then this one's not so this one will be given a, a, a maybe a timber material or what do I call it um, um, uh, just timber timber material or maybe not timber material uh, seat seat material type okay okay so now that's that's it that's the chair so now we can go let's have a try of all these uh, parameters so height so if I change it to 700 apply yeah uh, this is the, the the width of the legs apply this is the width 400 yeah oh good so of course material for the frame material for this panel and that's it uh, very uh, simple and uh, par uh, param parametric fa uh, family okay so uh, I'll upload this family so you can have a look um, if you have any question please let me know I'll see you next time bye